Samantha Johnson. Yes, ma'am. I mind your shirt. Now hurry up or you'll be late for your interview. Even Grandad's bowled over by the pong, aren't you, Dad? I sweat when I'm nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. Oh, what if I miss out? Ah. Look, if I don't get upgraded, they'll lay me off. They're only keeping the permanent staff. Just smile and be polite. You'd be surprised how much good manners help. And don't forget this. My letter from the treasurer. Oh, Mum. It's what your dad would want. You show it to them, Harve. The treasurer said he was a credit to the service. The treasurer's in jail. Fifteen years in land tax and, and never, never took a sickie. And tell them the minister went to your school. Every little counts. Now, I've been saving this up in case I get cancer. But I know how important this interview is. No one ever died from Lord's water. Yet. <sighs> See you, Grandad. Hey, Dad, let's finish your breakfast. I've applied for... No. I've applied for the job of accounts clerk because... I, uh... Oh, God. I bet some lucky bloke shoves his head in there at night. No, no, no. I'll take it back. I'm sorry, God. No mortal sins before the interview. Don't think about sex. Think of something else. Um, bath water. No. Autumn leaves. The grand final. Uh, eight. Yeah, that's it. Eight. 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 Don't cross your legs, they're really into body language. Don't sit down before they ask you to. There's so much uh, to remember. I'll ask if you support the Mafia. What? Multiculturalism, AIDS, feminism, the indigenous and animal liberation. Right, is my collar down at the back? Hang on. No, it's fine. That's Carl's girlfriend, Fiona. She's a research assistant. He calls her in when he wants to look up something. <laughs> Morning, Carl. Yeah. Hey, Harv, it's him.
Yesterday's leader. Replace it with one of yours, Minister? Yes. The blue suit. Damn building should be condemned. I'll check it out, sir. Holy St. Jude, Apostle and Martyr, great in virtue, rich in miracles, near kinsman of Jesus Christ. Oh, watch out. Sorry, Megan. Job interview, Felix's. Oh, I didn't know he died. Well, he hasn't, but his contract expires next week and he's too old to renew it. Good luck, huh? Oh, no. The equal opportunity trifecta. So, what did you do in animal welfare? Castrations, Clark. I assisted a committee for compulsory cat desexing, but the, the government abolished my job. Then you've got another 12 months to find a permanent position. Or you're out. Ten months now. Three days. And why do you think you're suitable for this position? Because I'm doing it already. Temporarily, I mean. They sent me to the trust department when Felix came down with AIDS, so... Since I'm doing it already, I figure it's only fair that I, I get the job. We decide what's fair, McHugh. How would you describe the kind of work involved? The trust department manages the bank accounts of psychiatric patients, and... Yes, yes, we're aware of that, but do you understand the needs of the um, psychologically disabled? Sure. Whenever a problem arises, I, I go out and visit them. Today, for instance, I'm going to see a lady who's been querying her bank balance. I don't mind. I, I do it on my flex time. So while we're busy privatising, you're off pandering to the whims of non-paying customers. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I was in and out in under five minutes. I kept the woman from lotteries for hours. A woman applied? With qualifications? I won't get it, will I? Hey, Smedley. What? Can you uh, check these for me? I'm doing a lot of half. Hey, Mrs. Dewhurst's account statement. She's been complaining that they're out. Look. See, 17 cents has been deducted every fortnight for the past two years. She's asked me what it's for, and I'm damned if I know. Felix probably charged her something by accident. He made a few mistakes when he got sick. It's only 17 cents. Draw up a refund? And admit to an error? God, you know what the nutters are like. They'll all be wanting their money back. So what do I tell her? Make something up. Say, um, it's under review. Listen, Harv, you're not going to get this job, so why worry? That's my lucky seed. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry I complained. It's your money, Mrs. Dewhurst. You got a right to know where it's going. Oh, I know where it's going. But it's too late to stop them. They're giving my pension to the Communist Party. There aren't any Communists anymore.